Exoplanets were initially detected in the 1990s, and since then, a wide variety of strange and amazing planets have been found orbiting far-off stars outside of our solar system. One of the strangest planets that has ever been found is J1407b. This is Saturn on steroids, around 434 light-years from Earth. Astronomers studied this unsettling environment and attempted to properly calculate its mass. However, it is estimated to be between 10 and 40 Jupiter masses. Additionally, J1407b is a huge planet that dwarfs the largest planet in our solar system in size. Scientists were astounded by the planet's massive ring system. It is made up of 30 rings, each with a diameter of tens of millions of kilometers. Rough calculations indicate that the total ring system has a diameter of 120 million kilometers, that's 74.5 million miles. This is 200 times bigger than Saturn's rings. Saturn would rule the night sky if its ring system were this large. It would have been a stunning spectacle, but it wouldn't stay long. As more satellites formed orbiting the globe, the rings would eventually get narrower, but that's only the start. There are many more strange planets the universe has in store for us. What is the universe's most intriguing planet? How is it possible for one planet to be hotter than the Sun while being larger than its star? Let's find out. TOI 1075b, one of the most massive super-Earths so far detected. This planet, which has a mass almost 10 times that of Earth, revolves around a dim red-orange star 200 light-years away. Only 14 and a half hours are needed to complete one orbit around the star. The planet is extraordinarily hot due to its ultra-short orbit, with an estimated temperature of 1,922 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 1,050 Celsius. Super-Earth planets, which can be up to twice as big as Earth, are mysterious, since they don't exist in our solar system. However, they are some of the most widespread in the galaxy. Some of them are inside the habitable zones of their stars, a distance that might let liquid water exist on the surface, and they look to be rocky planets like Earth. That's definitely not the case with TOI 1075b. In fact, it might have molten lava on its surface. However, research into this large planet may reveal fresh information on how rocky planets like our own form. Computer models of how various planet types arise, what they are made of and what kinds of atmosphere they might have have been developed by scientists based on patterns found among hundreds of exoplanets planets surrounding other stars that have been confirmed in the galaxy thus far. Models indicate that TO1075b sized super-Earths often have an atmosphere composed primarily of hydrogen and helium that is fairly thick. However, due to the planet's thick makeup and intensely close orbit, such an atmosphere is implausible. As one of the few planets to date with accurate enough measurements of size and mass to aid scientists in fine-tuning their theories of planet formation, TOI 1075b is known as a keystone planet. As a result, they will be better able to anticipate the kind of atmospheres super-Earths and other planet types will have, if any. Kepler 70b Let's now turn our attention to Cygnus. The world Kepler 70b is there, roughly 650 light-years away, and it is a burning world. This is one of the hottest exoplanets we are aware of, with a mass of only 0.44 of Earth and a radius 0.75 times that of our planet. The planet's star, Kepler 70, was formerly a gas giant the size of Jupiter, whereas Kepler 70b was a main-sequence star similar to our Sun. However, the star went through its red giant stage some 18.5 million years ago. A heated iron core of the planet is all that remains after spending a large period of time inside its now-dead star. According to scientists, the planet is still draining, which could potentially result in further shrinkage. How hot is it then? 
The temperature on Kepler 70b reaches a mind-blowing 6,650 degrees Celsius, that is 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit, since it is 65 times closer, 0.006 AU, to its star than Mercury is to the Sun. The surface of our Sun is just around 5,500 degrees Celsius hotter than that, or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. WASP-76b WASP-76b is the name of yet another scorching exoplanet that is around 640 light-years from Earth. The planet is recognized for more than just that, though. Additionally, it possesses molten iron rains and a constant dark side. It was found in 2016 and it is almost as big as Jupiter. The planet always faces the star because it is tidally locked to it. As a result, the dayside temperature rises to 2,350 degrees Celsius, that's 4,300 degrees Fahrenheit. This is more than enough to trigger evaporation into the atmosphere of metals like iron. In addition, the radiation received by the dayside is millions of times greater than that received by our planet from the Sun. As a result, WASP-76b's dark side is nearly twice as cold. On this exoplanet, strong winds develop because of the vast temperature disparity. As a result, the wind carries the iron vapor from the planet's hotter side to its cooler side. It also rains molten iron as this vapor cools. Even while that is strange, it's not as strange as the planet known as PSR J1719-1438b. But what about it is so impressive? This exoplanet dwarfs its home neutron star by 3,000 times. Furthermore, it wasn't always a planet. In the past, it was a star. However, let's go back to the beginning. The exoplanet revolves around a remarkably small and compact neutron star with a diameter of 20 kilometers, that's 12 miles. On Earth, just a teaspoon of the matter from this star would be millions of tons heavy. The star spins every 5.4 milliseconds and produces radiation beams as a millisecond pulsar. This happens 10,000 times every minute. The star has a companion planet called PSR J1719-1438b, which is roughly 40% the size of Jupiter. This extraterrestrial world is also larger than Jupiter. Why then is it so tiny but so massive? This is due to the fact that the exoplanet was previously a star whose outer layers were removed by a neighboring, much larger pulsar. As a result, a carbon star remnant that grew into a diamond world, nearly five times the size of our planet, was left behind. It presently measures about 60,000 kilometers, that's 37,300 miles, in diameter. The system might also fit within the diameter of our Sun, due to how near the exoplanet is to the pulsar. WASP-18b The planet WASP-18b is one that ideally shouldn't last very long. It is 10 times the size of Jupiter, completes one complete circle around its star in less than 24 hours, and will shortly spiral onto the surface of its searingly hot sun. The planet WASP-18b is too huge and too close to its sun for comfort according to the laws of physics, and it orbits a star 1,000 light-years away from Earth. The two enormous objects should be drawn together in a lethal gravitational embrace by the tidal interactions between them. Even though the planet is at least a billion years old, if things continue as they are, it won't be much longer before it collides with its own star. At this stage of its life cycle, there is a 1 in 2,000 chance of discovering it. Another strange planet is this one. The situation is comparable to how tidal friction is causing the Earth's spin to gradually slow down, while also spiraling the Moon away from the Earth. However, in this instance, the star should be spinning up and the planet should be spiraling in because the star's spin is slower than the planet's orbit. Temperatures on this hot, Jupiter-like planet approach 2,100 Celsius, which is high enough to produce clouds of silica-based jewels. If someone could make it to this planet and live, they might be able to witness a sky covered in sapphires and diamonds. 
Might is a crucial factor here. WASP-107b Weird exoplanets seem to be abundant in space, and some of them have characteristics that make it difficult to believe that these heavenly bodies actually exist. This strange planet known as WASP-107b has the density of cotton candy and forces scientists to re-evaluate how gas giants develop. Although the exoplanet is only 30 Earth masses, it is almost the same size as Jupiter. However, Jupiter is 300 times bigger than Earth. Furthermore, the core of WASP-107b is only four times as large as the Earth's core, despite the fact that it should be around 10 times as large. WASP-107b has an exceptionally low density as a result of all of this. It is like a marshmallow floating in space, in fact. 2MASS J2126 Unimaginable is the size of the universe, and 2MASS J2126 is an exemplary example of that. It was once believed that this odd planet was a free-floating or lone planet. But this planet isn't all by itself. As it turns out, the stars TYC 9486-927-1 and 2MASS J2126 travel through space together. Strangely, astronomers have known about both objects for a long time without ever making the connection between them. The exoplanet and the star are associated because they are both located approximately 104 light-years from the Sun. The planet is orbiting its star at a distance of a trillion kilometers, that's 621 billion miles, according to later studies. This is around 7,000 times farther than the distance between our planet and the Sun. This makes it the largest orbital radius of any planet known so far. Interestingly, a result of such a huge orbit is that a year on this exoplanet equals about 900,000 Earth years. KOI-5AB What makes this one specifically unique is not its properties, but the system it is a member of. The planet, about half the size of Saturn, was first ignored because it was complicated and even considered science fiction. A decade later, the system, named KOI-5, was given the scientific attention it deserved. It turned out that astronomers stumbled across a triple star system. The planet revolves around star A, which has a relatively close companion, star B. Every 30 years, they both orbit around one another. However, star C, another gravitationally bound star, exists. And it takes 400 years for this one to orbit stars A and B. Imagine that we could reach this exoplanet and use our spaceship to linger just outside of its atmosphere. Then we'd be witnessing amazing and unique things. Most likely, there would be clouds in the bottom perspective that were dark brown and grey. You would see two suns instead of one. One 17 times larger than our star and the other much smaller and just around 0.5% as luminous as our sun. The fainter star would still shine a thousand times brighter than the full moon on Earth despite this though. Regardless of how odd these extraterrestrial planets are, our universe may contain much crazier celestial objects. The universe knows no bounds, both in terms of physical separation and in terms of inventiveness. Astronomers occasionally make astounding space object discoveries that expand our finite understanding of the universe. For instance, the planets in our solar system continue to wow us with unique characteristics even though it took us many years to discover them all. Who knows how many more startling discoveries regarding the 5,000 known exoplanets are still in store for us. Additionally, there may be many more unusual planets found in the upcoming years due to the abundance of new exoplanet-hunting spacecraft that are in the works. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.